6.5, the graphs of sine and cosine functions. To understand graphs of sine and cosine function, we need to reanalyze the unicircle value. So based on our unicircle, we define that this x-axis equal to cosine theta and then y equal to sine theta. And so from now on, we more using radian value compared to angle value. Because we set up r equal to 1, so the radian value equal to angle value basically. So we start using radian value as the most. Okay, so briefly um, review. So if this is 0, then this is pi, and then one complete cycle become 2 pi basically. And now this will be pi over 2. And then become 3 pi over 2 here. Okay? So, let's review briefly about uh, 30, 60, and 90 triangle case. Okay, then so if you don't understand all the value of those um, 30, 60, 90 value, please go back to unicircle video and then watch that please. So this is pi over 6. In this case, the coordinate value become root 3 over 2 comma 1 over 2. And this is the pi over 3. This become 1 over 2 comma root 3 over 2. And this is 2 pi over 3. This coordinate becomes negative 1 over 2 comma root 3 over 2. And this is the 5 pi over 6. And this coordinate becomes negative root 3 over 2, comma, uh, 1 over 2. And this point pi become negative 1, comma, 0. I forgot here. Actually, this become 1, comma, 0. So after um, beyond the pi, we can also make 7 pi over 6. So this is the... 7 pi over 6, this coordinate become negative root 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 over 2. This is the, so 3 pi over, the 4 pi over 3, and this point becomes negative 1 over 2, and then negative root 3 over 2, this is the, 5 pi over 3 and then angle value becomes 1 over 2 comma negative root 3 over 2 I forgot 3 pi over 2 because this is 0 comma negative 1 and 11 pi over 6 that is the uh, root 3 over 2 comma negative 1 over 2 and then we just go over to 1 comma 0 like that okay the key point is the yellow marker here, they are all cosine value. And the blue is all sine value here. Okay, so based on this, we can construct basic graph of sine and cosine function. Of course, there's a 45, 45, 90 degree function, uh, union circle as well, but uh, we can use those values. I think that's also enough. So I mostly use this, only this value here. Okay, then now I'm going to construct sine first. As I told you, 
Psi means Y, Y means blue this case. So this is 1, negative 1, um, pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6, pi, um, 7 pi over 6, 4 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 3, 11 pi over 6, and 2 pi here. Okay? Alright, so sign first. So first of all, sign begin 0 here. So, 0. And the pi over 6, 1 over 2. So, 1 over 2, and then pi over 3, root 3 over, root 3 over 2, so here, and then pi over 2, oh, I forgot to point this value here, this is 0, 1, so 1, and now 2 pi over 3, so, root 3 over 2 again, 5 pi over 6, 1 over 2, pi, 0, 7 pi over 6, negative 1 over 2, 4 pi over 3, negative root 3 over 2, 3 pi over 2, negative 1, And then 5 over 3, negative root 3 over 2, 11 pi over 6, negative half, 2 pi, 0. Okay. So, if I connect this graph, so it looks like this. Okay. So, this is one complete cycle, basically. So, I only limit it the period 0 to 2 pi okay in this case okay then now the basic parent function of sine x was the amplitude so amplitude means the distance between this center to either maximum or minimum here. You can do either way. Okay? So, from here to here, the total become 1. So, in this case, the amplitude, amplitude becomes 1, basically. Okay? Alright, then, let's talk about cosine x graph. So, I just use same plane graph, so you can see a little bit difference between sine and cosine as well. Okay. So, cosine means x, right? So I can using um, just the red one. So at the beginning it become one. So zero and one pi over six root three over two pi over three one over two pi over two zero and two pi over three negative half. And 5 pi over 3, negative root 3 over 2, pi, negative 1. And 7 pi over 6 become negative root 3 over 2. And 4 pi over 3, negative half. And 3 pi over 2, 0. 5 pi over 3, 1 over 2, and 11 pi over 6, root 3 over 2, 2 pi, 1 here. So, if I connect the cosine x graph here, it looks like this. 
Okay? So I also doing uh, the period 0 and 2 pi. And then this time the sine and cosine also amplitude becomes 1 because we using the union circle value. Union circle means R equal to 1. Okay? So next video, we want to talk about more other types of graph of sine and cosine.